What is the single biggest issue that scientific research is facing? I'd like to think that the social issue is still something that we haven't really cracked yet. When it comes to people and how they approach technology and also the likelihood that they will interact with the technology in new ways and adopt it. Um, the social bit, and especially when it comes to the sciences with the incentive structure that exists currently, it's not designed so that people will really move outside of their traditional norms and practices. How do we solve that? I mean, what are the things that have to be done to start moving towards you know, getting past that issue? A lot of it is just presenting a different, almost a different data set, a different source of information to the people that are making decisions to help change the argument a bit. Mm. And we've got some efforts um, that are going on trying to find other ways of mapping scientific contribution, moving beyond just the traditional norm of using scientific papers and citations and looking at means of looking at data and um, code and things like that that are really important when it comes to scientific contribution, but aren't necessarily helping people get promotion and tenure or moving up in their careers in the same sort of way. So is data the key there? I mean, is that part of the feedback loop? On our end as a technology company, it's one of the things that's been missing, mm. uh, at least to provide the fuel for the argument or for the conversation for those that might, whether they're funders or research administrators, to be better educated about the, uh, about the issues at hand. Is scientific research one of those entrenched disciplines that just takes decades for it to change? Or do you anticipate that we're moving into a time where we're going to hit a point where it's kind of an exponential growth? I think there are a number of, of moving pieces that are making it a bit easier to get traction in certain areas, but we also are still battling some of the older mechanisms, some of the more analog mechanisms that haven't necessarily caught up to speed with the technology that we have thus far. Mm -hmm. I mean, the idea of transferring knowledge through writing it down on a piece of paper, something that's been around since 1665 with the first journal, we're still trapped in some of those mechanisms in how we perceive scientific contribution, how we try to move information, and that's affecting how well we can reproduce experiments, something that should be at the at the heart of how science moves forward. But also with some of the other efforts that are trying to unlock content and make data more available and provide means and, and entry points to that, we're seeing it, it shift a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think that we're nearly there yet, but we're, we're at least making progress. Last question for you, and it's shifting gears a little bit. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about your work at Digital Science. Because if I understand it correctly, it came out of Macmillan Publishers, but it's actually not a content company. Is that right? So Macmillan is really a broader information company. This is the first non-content business that they've ever had. Mm. Um, the main group that they have in the scientific research space is Nature, one of the top scientific journals. And our roots are very much in that. A number of our colleagues came from Nature. But with the idea that some of the work that they've been doing on the content side needed a bit of a, a facelift and spinning the company out so that we were a tech company at our core, still serving the same community but in different capacities, moving beyond tools for just content and also, but also to ways of managing information, doing better research in the lab, early stage drug discovery, and some of the science metrics work I mentioned to you before. Um, but digital science is the first technology business that Macmillan has ever um, endeavored into, and we not only operate as a software company at our core, but we also incubate and invest other businesses as well from individual researchers looking to maybe take an idea to the next step to startups and small businesses, which is really uncharted territory for Macmillan. Wow, okay. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate you taking the Thank time. Thank you.